Welcome everybody, this is Dr. Q again and we're discussing all things female and today we have a really juicy topic and we are giving you not one, not two, not three, but ten, ten whole tips to a healthy vagina. Remember our vagina song? Vagina, 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 vagina. Vagina, 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 vagina. We are keeping that girl healthy today. And you know what? It's very important because a lot of people are making money out of y'all. I repeat, a lot of people are ripping women off, selling them things. Guys, I even had a woman calling me saying, So when is my vagina tea coming? And I'm like, Vagina tea? You want to teach me something? <laughs> You know, people were using my name trying to sell their vagina products and people are really being ripped off. Girls, let me start by telling you again that a vagina is like a queen. It's, it's, it's a self-cleaning organ. Everything is like automated down there. You know, God made it like that for a reason. I know we want our vaginas to be smelling of roses. We know we want to have all these lavender smells and all of that. But girls, I'm going to be here to tell you the truth. I ain't selling you anything but the truth. So here we go. 10 tips to a healthy vagina. Number one. She ain't gonna smell good if you ain't cleaning her. Now, Sishotin, you guys, come on, come on, come on. At least a daily wash. Simple. A daily wash. Cleaning your vagina daily. She will not smell fresh if she is not clean with water. I know that it may sound like I'm contradicting myself. I just said she's self-cleaning. Now I'm saying daily wash. Didn't you say the girl is on automatic? No, she is on automatic on the inside. But remember, I even teach my young girls this. The vagina has got lips. You need to part them. And there is some accumulation there. And it looks like white particles that accumulate over time. But you need to part the lips and run a bit of water there. Please do. So there's labia minor and labia major. So the part that is actually containing hair on the outside, you need to part and clean in between the labia minor and the labia major so that the girl stays clean. She's got a wonderful natural smell. Which brings me to point number two. Avoid using perfumes. Avoid using soaps. There are some soaps and products that are being sold and they say it's a vaginal wash, it's a feminine care, feminine hygiene. It is all for external use. Use all of that, but on the outside where the hair grows. Okay, it's like taking care of a garden. That's where it is, outside. The vagina internally is easily affected. Vagina has a pH of 4.5, meaning, hey, it's a inside there okay so you don't want to go mess that up you don't want to go and kill the good bacteria and come with some hofos now that start troubling you you don't want you don't want to mess with that vagina <laughs> i mean it the moment you start putting things in there and i mean it's even douching guys put in something that has been medically tested when i treat you for thrush and i give you a vaginal cream it's tested we know what it's aiming for we know that it is safe for all the other bacteria that are there to keep the vagina healthy so point number three it's very important we said she is like a queen a queen needs some fresh air you can't keep her clumped up and sweating in between them thighs and all of that she needs to breathe so let your vagina breathe girl when you go to sleep commando Commando and spread them legs in your bed and have some fun. Let her breathe. Fresh air keeps her aerated. It dries up whatever needs to be dried up so it does not accumulate there. So please, 
kadi stove fi mu roba kadi pijama zeka na you know okay fine if it's winter but let loose even let loose of them underwears let the vagina breathe so that it keeps fresh and aerated all right so going on point number four part of the breathing is wear cotton panties all right if you wear material that does not allow your vagina to get some fresh air and this is now only at the area of the vagina so you can wear your silk you could you can wear your whatever everywhere else the rest of your panty but where the vagina lies at least allow it to be a breathable material where fresh air can come in even when you're wearing a skirt or whatever allow yourself i know there's some girls who even say even the panties i don't wear them during the day i'm cool like that let her breathe it's okay girl it's okay so if you're still in the fashion of wearing good old panties let them have a cotton lining all right so that you can have some aeration great number five please know the medication you're taking everything that you put in actually does affect your vaginal health and it's important to know when a doctor gives you medication and it's an antibiotic again please check out vaginal health you can ask the doctor hmm, did you give me some probiotics with this antibiotic hey educated girls that's how it goes she comes first hey so some antibiotics actually go on to kill the good bacteria in your vagina that actually help to keep it acidic then you find that thrush starts growing candida and other things actually affect your vagina so know your medication and know or whatever you're taking how does it affect your vaginal health number six it's very important to actually vaccinate we spoke about a hpv and pap smears and cancer of the cervix you know so if you haven't watched that video again once we edit click back look on our previous videos more about pap smears and cervical cancer so number six there is a vaccine i'm not gonna say which uh, company but hpv vaccination is very important hpv is like a sexual flu i'm actually gonna discuss and make a video just on HPV alone because we're actually getting a lot of questions about HPV and women freak out and they want to stab them husbands yeah, what have you done to me no chill my ladies hey <laughs> so we're going to talk about HPV soon so it's important to get your HPV vaccination vaccines are available now they're starting from the ages of nine in school so that girls actually start building their antibodies and all of that so vaccinate to keep healthy number seven sexual responsibility all these diseases mostly come in through stis so if we're going to be going through tom dick and harry and john the next day it's really going to catch up with us so please it's either you condomize or you just stick to one guy you know just stick to one guy and let's hope he sticks to one girl oh the world that we live in but sexual responsibility use a condom protect yourself from all these infections when you get infections women just think it's a matter of getting an sti today tomorrow i get it treated it's over i continue no sexual infections can go on and the moment you are infected it can actually grow on the inside of you it can affect you now when you see the the discharge or whatever but in the future you learn that that very sti has resulted in you being infertile blocked fallopian tubes ovaries affected tubes affected all of that so there are repercussions and consequences which are short term and long term that come from sexual irres irresponsibility so please let us all be sexually responsible and if he doesn't think for you you think for yourself so if it means you go around with them condoms girl you do that you take care of yourself do you go okay so be sexually responsible and number eight i know we like looking good and kind of sexy and all of that but hey them thongs them thong 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 thong, thong you know hey you know go occasionally let's use them but remember it goes in between the butt cheeks 
it goes in that natal cleft and it goes to that whole girl and it stays there and any moving it can start collecting bacteria from the around the anal area and that can climb up forward and end up affecting you anteriorly if thorns are your daily bread and you're surviving it's okay but remember we're not all the same so if you are using thongs quite frequently um, try and reduce your usage um, maybe use it for special occasions and so on but we found that with the usage of thongs we are able to get bacteria that actually come from the anus you know this is E. coli the origin is the anus what is it doing in the front Thong, 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 thong. So girls, can we please uh, reduce our usage of thongs? Even a lot of uh, bladder infections are found from that. We had nine. Nine. Don't ignore any abnormalities that you see around there. Don't ignore. Be it a discharge, don't ignore. Be it a funny smell, don't ignore. Be it a prolapse, something hanging out there, don't ignore. Be it a small ulcer or something, don't ignore. The quicker you get treatment for it, the better. Number 10, Kegel exercises. These are pelvic floor muscle exercises as pelvic floor muscles support the vaginal area and the bladder and all the other pelvic organs. These will help during times of childbirth, during sexual intercourse, and even when it comes to pelvic organ prolapse. So look up curdle exercises and practice the different types. Even trying to stop a urine from flowing midstream is a good form of, a simple form of pelvic exercise. Exercise. So that's it from me, your favorite gynecologist. Today we did your top 10 tips to a healthy vagina. And next we're going to be discussing abnormal vaginal discharge. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What do you need to do? Great. So stay tuned. Thank you.